Hi, first welcome to my channel, this is the evolution of the Xbox motherboards in the past years, this video will include all Xbox, from the first Xbox released in 2002 to the Xbox One X. The Xbox has an Intel seller on Pentium 3x86 CPU at 733 MHz. A modified NVIDIA GeForce 3 and V2A GPU at 233 MHz, 64 MB of DDR RAM, and a NVIDIA South Bridge. The specifications seem shitty when you look at them but do you remember how we enjoyed so much played with Halo on this console? Now let's jump to the Xbox 360. The first Xbox 360 are also known as the Xbox Arcade or Xbox Core. It came out in November 22, 2005. The Xbox is equipped of a Tricore IBM Xenon Tower PC CPU at 3.2 GHz, and a TI Xenos GPU at 500 MHz, 512 MB of GDDR3 RAM. The arcade version didn't come with any hard drives. On the December 2, 2005 Microsoft has came out with a Xbox 360 premium version that has a hard drive of 20GB. In August 2008 the 20GB hard drive are upgraded to 60GB and the premium name are replaced by the Xbox 360 Pro. The design wasn't so great in that time. The Xbox 360 was commonly known to have the red reign of death. Microsoft has tried everything to improve the design with several revisions. The Xenon No has the, the first revision, the Zephyr released in December 2006, the Falcon released in August 2007, the Opus released in July 2008 which was even more a fail, the Opus is an HDMI lacking Falcon revision, and finally the Jasper released in November 2008, even after more than three years of developments, the Xbox was always reputed to have that red reign of death. On the August 27, 2009, Microsoft has came out with the Xbox 360 Elite with a 120GB hard drive. The Xbox 360 Elite have a new revised motherboard but please don't be fooled. The Elite was also known to have the popular Red Ring of Death. Now let's jump to the Xbox 360S or also known as the Xbox 360 Slim. The Xbox 360S are released on July 16, 2010. The hardware hasn't much changed since the initial state. It came out with a XC GPU which is a combination of the Xenon CPU and the Xenos GPU the same chip. The Xbox 360S now used 4 Samsung 1 GB GDDR3 SD RAM. The motherboard now have an integrated Wi-Fi module, the cooling system has been improved and the power consumption has been reduced which reduced the chance of having a red ring of death but they still do get it. Microsoft released the Xbox 360E on June 10, 2013. The 360E hardware hasn't much changed since the 360S. This is mostly only a red design of something already existent. Now for the Xbox One. The Xbox One are released on November 22, 2013. It come with a AMD Jaguar 8th core CPU at 1.75 GHz. It use AMD Radeon HD 7000 for the GPU rated at 853 MHz. The Xbox One has 8 GB of GDDR3 RAMs which is 16 SK Hynix 512 MB SD RAM. The motherboard has a SK Hynix 8 GB NAND flash. The blue box is an on semiconductor, a real car TLE Ethernet controller. Now you wonder what is that yellow box? This is the South Bridge. But was the South Bridge really an information you needed to know? This was known to be to be the next generation console. But when the PS4 came out this Xbox was not so great so Microsoft needed to improve it. Since Microsoft needed to improve it they finally come out with a small improvement. The Xbox One is released on the August 2, 2016. The Xbox One S used the same AMD Jaguar 8th cores at 1.75 GHz but Microsoft done improvement with the GPU. The GPU are the same AMD Radeon HD 7000 but now overclocked at 914 MHz from the previous 853 MHz. It also used the same 8 GB of GDDR3 SD RAM. The GPU is mostly the only hardware improvement that Microsoft did on the Xbox One S that bring better performance. Others improvement made to the motherboard is mostly a redesign of the electronics diagram. 
taking less energy consumption and with a little better cooling system, Microsoft had that this small improvement was benefial for the next generation gaming. Well it kind of helped but it was still not on the point. Microsoft came out with the best solution noted these days, the Xbox One X. The Xbox One X is released on the November 7, 2017. Microsoft have done several improvements in this new version and the first one is the CPU. It used again the AMD 8th Core's CPU but now overclocked at 2.3 GHz. The GPU also been improved. It's the same AMD Radeon HD 7000 but now over and overclocked at 1172 MHz. The Xbox One X used 12 GB of GDDR5 SD RAM. The graphics of this console can output up to 6 flops. Now you wonder what the heck is flops? Flop stands for trillion operations per second so the Xbox One X can do up to 6 trillion operations per second. Microsoft has integrated AMD FreeSync with this Xbox. The console are almost perfect on all points. Except this, Microsoft leave us a 1TB hard drive with the console. They probably think this was a good idea, but in fact, what do you want to do with a 1TB hard drive today especially when today's games are more than 100GB each? You will probably manage to put only 8 or 10 great next generation games in your hard drive. You will need to break yourself an arm and a leg if you want to play other games than these games, because you will need to make space for your new game by removing the old ones. And just like this issue was not a knot, the Xbox One X is one of the most weightiest console ever with a weight of 8.4 pounds. The weight are not all. The console also needed to be bigger, but after all, this is the greatest console that Microsoft never made. They definitively come with something pretty strong capable of playing games at 4K, the first console to probably meet and even succeed our gaming computers. The price of the console are also pretty decent for the output's performance. This console are made to stand, Microsoft designed it very well for the next generation gaming. If you enjoyed my video, please comment below, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. You can also watch my others videos.